I think I have a reputation of being honest, and I will give you an honest response. The report you saw last Friday, it was inaccurate. Let me just say that. It was inaccurate, and I'm not going to respond to it now. That was last week when KWS board chairman Dr. Richard Leakey had in the interest of wildlife conservation dismissed reports that the standard gauge railway, SGR, would be passing through the Savo National Park. But it soon dawned on Leakey that the decision to allow the SGR through the park was already sealed before he took over office four months ago. I mean, ideally, there should be no transport in the national park. But you are a Kenyan. This process has been ongoing, and this board that I chair came in four months ago. And we found what in French they call a fait accompli. The deals were almost done. Now, do you expect your new chairman to say, ah, it bothers me, and walk away? Or do we try and solve the problem in a pragmatic way? That's what we've done. If you like it, you don't like it, I'm just telling you transparently what has happened. And I believe most of you, and I assume you too, are looking for transparency. Dr. Leakey said Kenya Railways Chairman Jeremiah Kianga and his National Land Commission counterpart Mohamed Swazuri had okayed the routing of the railway line from Mombasa to Nairobi and on to Uganda through the park. All we can do, I think, as KWS, is use our good offices, our reputation, and our standing to negotiate with our colleagues who are being bullied by other people as well and say, we want development, but we would like development that takes due consideration of the wildlife estate. Leakey said it was for the good of the country's economy that the railway project is given the green light to proceed, noting that it was a pragmatic move, though on experiment. You know how it is in Kenya. We have to fight, and we are fighting, because we care. Our job is wildlife. But we can't say to the Nairobi residents, you have to stand in a traffic jam for the rest of your life. We have to find a solution to it. Leakey in the joint statement said the boundaries of the national park will not be varied and not reduced, that strict controls will be put in place to maximize security of both wildlife and the environment, that there will be minimal disturbance to the environment with wildlife having access on both sides of the easement and it will ensure a huge financial saving on the SGR project, which will be transferred to the Endowment Fund for Wildlife Conservation. That what we find will be put in an endowment fund for purposes of wildlife conservation. For Channel One News, I'm Judith Akolo.